The Scissor Loft Assembly Installation Instructions Step 1. Mount the support rails. Support rails should always be mounted across, which is perpendicular to the ceiling joists. Lag screws with washers are included to mount the support rails to the ceiling joists. Always pre-drill using a 7 32nd inch drill bit before inserting the lag screws. Make sure to use washers when inserting the lag screws. Begin by connecting and mounting four of the 26 inch support rails. Next, mount the next set of four support rails 21 and a quarter inches apart from center to center. Finally, mount the third set of four support rails 21 and a quarter inch apart from center to center. Step 2. Mount the center spool brackets. Assemble the first spool bracket using two hex bolts with two T-nuts. Now, mount the first spool bracket and loosely hand tighten. Do not fully tighten as you might have to adjust its position later on in the installation. Next, connect the second spool bracket using two hex bolts with two T-nuts. Again, make sure not to over tighten. After connecting, mount the second spool bracket by inserting and twisting the T-nuts 90 degrees. Do not over tighten as you may have to slightly adjust this position later on in the installation. Step 3. Mount the outer end brackets. First, assemble the outer end brackets using 6 hex bolts with 6 T-nuts. Now, mount the first outer end bracket 32 and a quarter inches away from the center spool brackets. Make sure that the flange on both outer end brackets is facing inward. A half inch socket with an extension is required. Mount the second outer end bracket 32 and a quarter inches away from the center spool brackets using six hex bolts with six T-nuts. Again, mount the outer end bracket with the flange facing inward towards the center spool brackets. Step four, mount the spool arm. Mount the spool arm using three one and one half inch hex bolts and three flange nuts. The hex bolts are partially threaded. A 7 16th inch socket and wrench are required. Make sure to keep the bolts loose for the installation of the gearbox. Step 5. Mount the gearbox. Mount the gearbox using four flanged one half inch hex bolts. A 3 8 inch socket is required. Once the gearbox is in place, tighten all the bolts used thus far. Step 6. The Pulley Assembly First, undo the cables so that they are hanging freely. Now, drape the cables with eye bolts over the aluminum pulleys and secure using four one and one half inch shoulder bolts and nuts. A 3 4 inch socket and 9 16 inch wrench or pliers are required. Ensure that the cables are tight against the spool on both sides of the tray. 
Ensure that the stoppers on the cables are on opposite cross corners. Step 7. The Tray Assembly Connect the long sides of the tray with the connector angles using 4 3 4 inch hex bolts and 4 lock nuts per side. Connect the slotted end angles to the side angles using 4 3 4 inch hex bolts on the upper bolt holes and 4 1 inch hex bolts on the lower bolt holes. Attach the center support bracket using 8 of the 1 inch hex bolts and 8 lock nuts. Tighten the tray bolts using a 7 16 inch socket and wrench. Step 8. Attach the cables to the tray. Use two ladders or a sawhorse to hold the tray. Connect the tray on all four corners using two washers, one on the eye bolt, one on the hex nut. A 9 16 inch socket and wrench are required. Step 9. Attach the scissors to the tray. Place the flat side of the scissors against the tray and the outer end brackets. The flat size of the scissors should alternate inside and outside, top and bottom. Use plastic washers between the scissors and the tray and the scissors in the brackets. It's helpful to rest the lower portion of the scissor inside the frame's edge for support when installing the upper portion of the scissor. After installing the upper portion of the scissor, fasten the bottom. Step 10. The Pan Insertion Insert the pan support angles into the slots on the tray. The center pan has a special cutout allowing it to fit over the support bracket. The other two pans are interchangeable for positioning. Your installation is now complete. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, visit our website, ceilingsam.com.